J Dynasty 2022 High Saviors GH here. Today we're gonna do a J Dynasty gameplay from the beginning to show you guys what it's like playing the game from the start. J Dynasty is a tab targeting fantasy MMORPG. And with that said, let's do this. Let's go play the game. Okay, guys, I think this is the class selection and there's a lot of classes over here. And where do we start? How about here? Oh, why is it written down? This class is called Selen. This one is Voida. Here's Ryan, Balo, Forta, and this one is Arden. Now let's move on to the next podium. Is that how you call it? Here's the Incense Mage, the Modo, the Sky Song, the Jadeon, the Lupin, and Vim. Now over here is the Seros. Now we're going down and this one is the Syria. This one is the Cilia. This one is the Gevren. The tiny one over here is the Saichi. Whatever. And this one is Hydran. And this guy over here that kind of looks like a centaur. We're gonna play as a Kytos. Let's go. There goes the Skytos animation. Now we're here and I think these are abilities. I don't know if they're asking us to pick something over here because there's no instructions. And I'm assuming these are skills over here and we need to pick one. Here's the Holy Polaris. There it goes. Here's the Death Volition. Here's the Flood Surge. And here's the Sacred Jail. Okay, we're gonna pick the Sacred Jail. Next. And here is the character customization, guys. Here is where we change the face. There's only five faces for the Kaitos. There goes the close-up. Preview this one and this one. Let's pick this one. And here's the hair customization. There's only seven hairstyles available, but they're all good enough. Let's pick this one. And now what we have here next is the death. What is this death? I think it's the base costume. Okay, whatever. This one kind of looks cool. Now gear. What? I'm pretty sure this gear over here is just a preview because it looks way too cool for a new player. Is that it? Let's name the character. Create. And we're in the game. We can move with WSD guys. Can we jump? Yes, we can somewhat jump. Can we double jump? Nope, we can't double jump. And we can move the camera with the mouse, of course. But we need to hold the right mouse button to be able to rotate it. And what is this? A conversation? What? Okay, I think that's the quest. Is there autopathing? Oh yeah, there's autopathing. The Sky Swordsman. Okay, talk to the Sky Swordsman. Now we need to talk to Dundon. What? Is that even an NPC? Well, anyway, we're autopathing. And this game looks really nice, I must say. Look at this. And look at that, people playing, guys. Annoying. What? There's a monster in here called Annoying. And Dundon is some kind of a spirit fox. Hidden treasure? Who tricked you? Okay, now what? According to the quest, we need to use bronze mirror what open up our bag how do we open up our bag do we have any bronze mirror is this the bag <laughs> provision bag material bag what is this it's some kind of a potion okay anyway let's just auto path to this quest if it's gonna auto path no it's not auto pathing so strange item over here how about let's pick this up see how it goes oh that's the quest what okay talk to dundon by the way guys this is the first time i'm playing this class it's a different starting area if you choose a different class. I played J Dynasty in before, but I haven't played as this class. So this is all new to me. Okay, anyway, talk to this NPC over here. Give a quest. Throw Peach. There's another strange item over there, but it's not my quest anymore. My quest is Throw Peach. Whatever that is. Man, the translations of the quest is really bad. But thankfully, there's autopathing and it takes us to the quest destination. And look at this game. It looks really beautiful. And what's happening here? Now we need to throw Peach? Oh, there's a dialogue that popped out. Okay. And now our quest is changed. Now we need to hunt down crazy monkeys. This one's over here. Okay, let's attack the crazy monkeys. How about our skills? What's our skills? Normal attack and iron cutter. And what is this? The potion. Okay, let's test out iron cutter. Here goes iron cutter. And then that's just basic attack. Let's try basic attacking this crazy monkey over here. The basic attack is not that strong, so we're just gonna use Iron Cutter. Can we tab in the game? The combat of the game, guys, is tab targeting. And yes, tab is working. <laughs> okay, let's attack this crazy monkey. Iron Cutter! Why is this popping out? And there's another dialogue that blocks my attributes. 
Okay, I think we need to add something over here. Is there an attack stat here? I think it's AP. How can we add AP over here? Ooh, what is this? Skills. Okay, we're gonna do that later. For now, let's do quests. And what happened? I thought I finished the crazy monkey quest. Okay, anyway, let's hunt down more monkeys. Arn kata! Let's go! And let's just basic attack this dude. Because the cooldown! Okay, we're done with that quest. I'm assuming another dialogue will pop out that will point me to the quest destination. And there's no dialogue, but the tracker appeared with an auto-pathing button. So let's just click it to head to the next quest. Look at this area over here. This game has a decent game engine. It's running pretty well. I haven't really experienced any stutters yet. And there goes Dundun. Talk to him. Give me another quest, bruh. Now I need to hunt down a boss, a monkey leader. This one over here. You're the monkey leader. I'm gonna iron cutter you. Iron cutter! Boom! He's dead. One shot. Okay, let's turn over the quest. And we have no more quests. And there's a dialogue that popped out. That's pretty weird, but okay, I'm gonna get used to this. Because there's a delay. I need to wait before the dialogue appeared before I can proceed with the quest. Well, anyway, talk to the swordsman. Guys, before we proceed with the quest, we're gonna talk about the monetization of the game. Okay, so the way that they make money in this game is you donate in this game. And if you donate, they give you items. And of course, the more donations you give to the developers, the more items they give you. So that's mainly how they try to make a little bit of money just to maintain the game. But if you're interested in the cash up, here it is, guys. Problem here is the description is real bad, man. I, you have no idea. But we all know what this game is, what it used to be when it was available officially. So we're not gonna check out this cash shop over here. But there's a way to take advantage of this cash shop. There's a web shop available for this game on their site. And you can get the cash up currency by just voting. Yes, there's some kind of a voting system in the game wherein you just vote this private server and they're gonna give you free cash up currency. And you can do it daily if I'm correct. So pretty much everyone can have access to cash up items. You're just not gonna do it in the cash up in the game. You're gonna do it in their website. There's a web shop over there. You're gonna vote and then you're gonna get the cash up currency and then you're gonna use it to buy the cash up items. Okay, I hope I didn't butcher the explanation. <laughs> let's go back and play the game. Okay, let's proceed with the quest. And I checked out the skills, guys, over here. It turns out our class is a tanker. Because look at this, they have a lure skill. According to the description, taunts your target, reducing their attack power by 10. Well, anyway, we're using a tanker. Okay, I kind of know it's like a tanker. Well, anyway, okay, let's proceed with the game. Talk to the swordsman. Give me another quest. Man, again, look at this. I'm waiting for the dialogue to happen or the tracker to pop out before I can proceed with the quest. It's, it doesn't take that long, but still, you know, bothers me a bit. Okay, let's talk to the swordsman again. Give me another quest. And I think we got another skill points, but I don't know where to put it. I want this skill, but I still couldn't put anything on it. So how about let's just put all the skills over here. Here we goes. Our iron cutter is now level 5. And we got this glimpse, which increases our attack. Close this. Let's proceed with the quest. Now we need to go to the dust inlet. Whatever that is. Let's go. By the way, guys, if you're wondering if there are people playing this game, there are people playing this game because I have a high level here. I played this for a few days. And there are a few people roaming around the cities. It's not that much though. If you're talking about, you know, thousands, I don't think there's thousands of people playing this game. Probably a hundred, something like that. Okay, so let's do this quest. Sky Swordsman again. What? Why are you here? And cutscene! I closed the cutscene and for some reason, what's happening with the game? It's dark and the game is loading. What? And now we're in Grass Temple Village. Let's put some skills again. Oh, there it goes. Now we can add the taunt. Problem here is, it's just a taunt. It's not an attack. Okay, let's close this. We're gonna do that later. And we need to talk to Uncle Chang. Uncle Chang, give me a quest. Now, of course, we need to talk to Auntie Chang. There goes Auntie Chang. Now we need to talk to Go Tanin. Where's that dude? Okay, he's over here. I remember this place. There's a boss over here. I think that's it. Lord, I can't read the name. Okay, anyway, talk to the NPC. Give me a quest. Come on, quest pop out. <laughs> There's a delay before the quest pops out. Okay, there it goes. Now I need to talk to Auntie Lin. This game looks real nice. But now, what are we supposed to do? We need to hunt down Blooming Temptress. Let's go, we're autopathing. 
Oh, these are monsters. I thought they're NPCs roaming around. They're enemies. And I think these are the targets. There he goes. Let's try attacking one. But but first, let's test out our skills. This taunt over here. Let's put it over here. And test it up. Taunt this one. Yeah. It's just a taunt. It doesn't deal any damage. Is that it? Is that a target? Nope. This is the target. Let's go. Oh, Iron Cutter them. Oh, Iron Cutter. Boom. Is this Dawn Charm loot? I haven't checked out my bag. What do we have? We got this Lunar Shade Stone, a pill, a Dawn Charm. Okay, I don't know what that is. Some of the items over there looks like potions. Okay, now let's go back and turn over the quest. The game looks like a pretty well made game. I wonder why it failed. Because look at this, it looks pretty recent. It doesn't look that bad. Actually, I'm kind of impressed. Look at this, looks nice. And there goes Gotanen, talk to him. Now we need to go to the flower field. Man, without the auto-pathing in this game, this could be impossible to play. Because the translations is so bad. And what's happening over here, we stopped over here. And of course, the dialogue is delayed. Now I need to hunt the orange ones. I think so. So let's hunt down the orange ones. Iron cutter them. Boom. Yep. Let us target. One more. To finish the quest. And we're done. Now we need to talk to Uncle Chang. What? Where is Uncle Chang? Okay, there he goes. You're here. Turn over the quest. And now we need to hunt down a boss, a matriarch. This one over here. Can you survive? One iron cutter. Iron cutter. Boom. Oh yeah. She good. Finish her off. Boom. And she's down. And that's G Dynasty from the start. I'm still wondering why this game failed because it seems like a fairly standard MMORPG with all the bells and whistles. Anyway, the starting experience is what you would expect from a traditional MMORPG. You pick a class, then you do the class progression path, which would probably be difficult to do without auto-pathing because translations is real bad. Now, the combat is tab targeting. Nothing special or innovative, just the traditional tab targeting combat, which works fine, I says. Now, the graphics is colorful, and everything from the trees and architecture looks good. And also the character models, to me, the graphics still looks very very recent. Now as for the performance, I experienced no stutters. All in all, it's a decent MMORPG and we can still play it. And if you want to check the game out, the details are on the screen. And if you like the video, hit the thumbs up, share, and then subscribe to be part of the Gaming Hardcore family. And as always, this is Gaming Hardcore. See you in the next one.